Welcome again guys. Have you ever wondered and heard about these three names? Jean Knockdown, Knockout, Knock In. Sometimes you use those names very, I mean commonly, very vigorously that Knockdown, Knockout or Knock In but don't know the meaning. Right, so this video is about to make this thing clear. What those things mean? What is the difference between Knockdown, Knockout and Knock In of a Jean? See the basic things about the knocking of the genes, whatever kind of knocking you do is based on the idea that we have genes uh, in our body, in our cell. Now those genes are responsible to produce certain proteins which are important for certain biological functions. Now suppose there are certain genes out there because if we introduce a new organism, we need to know for different genes, we sequence those genes but we don't know the function of those genes. So suppose we have a gene don't know the function of. The easiest way to understand the function of something is to remove that thing for a while and see what are the things that are not happening in the in the body or in the house. Whatever things you take, uh, for example, if you just take thing, that thing away, you will see the value of that thing for that cell, right? Similar thing, a gene provides a value to the cell, let us say it is producing an enzyme for glycolysis, right? Now if we knock out that gene, you take that gene out of that place then you will see that function of that glycolysis is stopped. So you will see certain effect in the body then you again recall it. So this is how you understand the functionality of a gene using all this process knock down, knock out or knock in. But what are the difference? Knock down, say this term knock down, first thing knock out, knock out, knock out means out means excluded. Knockout means the gene that we are talking about it is completely excluded from that organism's body. So that knockout means that gene is never present, not present in that organism's body. How could you do that? Let us say we have the DNA and in the DNA we have the stretch of that gene, gene G say we need to knock out. So the strategy that we use to knock out a gene is using some other vectors and things where you have the gene X. Uh, with the site specific recombination or homologous recombination in some cases where there will be exchange of these elements between them and due to this exchange what will we see we see some structure like this see now x is in place instead of g so if this is the organism's body there is no trace of g gene present now so the functionality will be completely omitted from that body. That is the knock out. The expression of that gene, whatever gene will knock out, the expression of that gene will never be present in that organism because it is completely taken out from the body. The second term knock down, knock down says, though in case of knock down the idea is the same that we want to see, we want to omit the expression of a gene, we want to omit the expression of the desired gene but we did not completely knock it out. So the gene is present in the cell but the way it works, the way we use this knockdown thing is to produce, is to take some RNA complementary to the RNA of that gene. Let us say we have a gene, gene again gene G and it produces this RNA and we have a complementary RNA to that it fuses it with uh, that gene or sometimes that RNA degrades that gene and we use RNAi technology, RNA interference technology, small RNA fragments which will be complementary to that RNA of the desired gene and then it will degrade it. So by this way the protein expression from this gene G is never possible though some cases and sometimes there are some problems regarding this degradation and some of this genes may be expressed because obviously the genes are present. So some of the RNA may translate into proteins. So this happens sometimes. In fact, it happens 90% of the time. 90% of the time uh, those uh, genes are blocked but 10% of the time they are active. 10% of the time the proteins are made. So it is not completely deletion of that gene because the gene is not physically deleted from that organism. It is present there. But we are blocking their expression by other means like using RNAi technology. So there are 10% of the times expression of the gene results, 90% of the time expression is blocked. So this is called knockdown, 
right? The expression is less but not completely omitted, right? So now the question, why would we perform knockdown? If you want to know the function exactly, why would you perform knockout? Because knockout will give us a direct result because we don't have that gene anymore, right? Obvious this knockout is better option than knockdown. But there is a problem with knockout is that de designing a knockout uh, will result in several months, even years. Because from to produce a knockout type of cell strain, uh, because if we are all about mammalian cell culture, we are doing cell culture things. So from a cell culture to, to completely abolish a part of a gene is kind of a tedious task, required expertise and a long, long time. But in other hand, the knockdown may be achieved in one or two weeks. A few weeks so that's why we sometimes figure on knockdown and, and in fact it's 90 percent of the times working so the result is kind of very easy fairly easy but if a research is going to do a lot of work using that same gene and function then obviously it's a better idea to use knockout but if the researcher needs to just check in for one or two time knockdown is a better option less uh, I mean expensive knockout is more expensive now the third thing is knock in Knock in means this is a completely opposite. Inserting a segment of gene in a region to see the function of that new gene and how that gene functions and interacting with the nearby genes and other proteins that other genes are making. So it's completely different, nothing to be worried about. Main difference between knockout and knockdown, remember that every time. But knock in means we add a gene segment from outside, we add it to put inside the gene. Now, how could you do the knock in? We generally use, we can use the process of recombination, site specific recombination, even we can use uh, the transpositions or the rule of transposons uh, to insert a segment of gene near to another gene. So these are in a sense is knock down, knock out and knock in and I hope you will never forget about these things. So if you like this video, like the video, uh, like the button there yeah, and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.